Hi everyone, let's learn food web. What is the meaning of food web? Food web is combination of several food chains. Look at these food chains. There are three food chains in a habitat at the paddy field. When all the food chains on a habitat are combined, it will form a food web. Look at this food web at a paddy field. The examples of food web. Now let us learn how to draw food web. First, give numbers. Second, arrange according to the number given. And third, draw arrows. Now let us start using three food chains to make a food web. First, we need to identify which one should be the first one. So in this food chain, the paddy will be the number one. Next, we're gonna put number two. So in this food chains, sparrow and the red are given number two because this animal are at number two position. Next, eagle cannot be number three because there are eagle at number four position. Only snake is given number three. And finally, eagle will be given number 4. Next, I will arrange the living things to make a food web. We start with the number 1, which is paddy. And then, we write number 2. And then, we write sparrow. And also, rat. So we need to use a bigger space so that our food web look more neat. Then number three is the snake. The last one, number four, is the eagle. So I already arranged the food web. Next, I'm going to draw the arrow for the food web. We start with the paddy eaten by sparrow Next And then sparrow eaten by eagle That is the first food chain Settle Next The second food chain Paddy eaten by rat Make sure you draw the arrow Accordingly to the food chain Rat eaten by snake Oh no Ta-da! I already sharp my pencil. Now we continue. Red eaten by snake. And then snake eaten by eagle. So I already settled my second food chain. Don't forget to tick the second one. Okay, next. Paddy eaten by red. And then red eaten by eagle. So we draw the long arrow to the eagle. Done! Next, we're going to draw a foot web using another foot chain, which is five foot chain. So the first one, we need to give numbers for the producer, which is the vegetable. Next, we, sh we must find out which animal should be given number two. Duck cannot be number two because there are ducks at the number three position. So good can be number two. 
chicken. Hmm, chicken cannot be number two because chicken are at the position number three. Caterpillar. Hmm. All right, caterpillar can be number two. Okay. Next, we're gonna find number three. Number three, snake cannot be number three because there are snake at number four position. Duck. Yes, duck can be number three. And also the chicken. Next, and the last one is snake. Snake can be number four. Done for the numbering. After that, I will arrange the number according to the living things. We start with the first one, number one, right number one, and then vegetables as the producer. Producer must be the number one, and then number two, which are goat and caterpillar. There are two animals. So more space are needed to write the animal so that our food web look more nice and neatly. Next number three, there are also two animals which are duck and chicken. And the last one is number four. Number four is snake. All right, done with the arrange. Okay, after that, the last step, we need to draw arrow. Okay, we look at the first food chain. Vegetable, eaten by duck. So, we need to draw long arrow. And then, duck is eaten by snake. That is the first food chain. Then, the second food chain, Vegetable eaten by goat and then goat eaten by snake. So a long arrow is drawn. And then the third one, vegetable eaten by chicken. So make sure you draw the arrow accordingly to the food chain. Chicken eaten by snake. Done with the third one. The fourth one, vegetables eaten by caterpillar, draw an arrow, and then caterpillar eaten by duck, where is the duck? So up there, and then duck eaten by snake, there is already arrow, so no need to draw another one, just use the arrow. And then vegetable eaten by caterpillar, there is already arrow there. And then caterpillar eaten by chicken, and chicken eaten by snake. So there already arrow, so now need to draw another one. So I'm done with the another food web. Easy, right?